coming to y'all real quick. About to lay it down for the night. Shut it down real quick. But just a thought. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to be unafraid to apologize to yourself. And I know a lot of people are not going to get that. A lot of times we come out of different predicaments and situations that may not be to our best benefit or in our ideal. And, you know, we get upset. We let the emotions take place. And it's, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Whether we wrong or right, we apologize to the people we apologize to. Or, you know, you sit there and you soak or you beat yourself up because of maybe what occurred. But I'm just stepping in here today to tell you, I give yourself a little grace. Apologize to yourself. Because a lot of times, you know the old saying, hindsight 2020, when you're able to sit and reflect on the situation, sometimes even for a couple hours, an hour, 10 minutes for some people, you know, a couple days, a week, a month or two for some people, whenever, however long your time is to process, you sit there and process and realize that you knew you knew the whole time. You know what I mean? You may not have paid attention. What they say, the red flags, what they say to... Um, and, you know, everybody got them. I don't believe in none of that social media shit for real. But sometimes, depending on your makeup, your personality, your character traits, you get caught up in being you and not reading the room properly. And for that, I'm just telling everybody out there, you know, everybody make mistakes. So give yourself a little grace, apologize to yourself, and acknowledge that even though you might have not knew, you know you knew the whole time or the signs were there the ind indicators were there the uh the track record was there of whatever occurring that occurred to get you into a negative space negative situation you knew what it was and i mean i know it's the 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 occasional cases you were blindsided you had no clue i get that totally get that but most of the time when we put, place ourselves in predicaments that aren't favorable to us it was something there telling us it wasn't favorable already. We chose not to listen to it or we overlooked it or we disregarded it for whatever reason. You know, the feeling emotionally, you know, maybe it's a job and it's the money. You knew you wasn't going to fit at that job, but the money was so right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You was just like, fuck it. And then you realized that I wasn't happy, but you knew, you knew already. You knew, you knew you wasn't going to make it. Maybe it's the car you got. You got the new car. You got the note. The shit looked nice, but you knew, you knew. You couldn't afford that already. Like you knew that. So when you get into that predicament of, you know, struggling and the money get thin, you knew that already. And it's the, maybe it's the person you deal with. You know what I'm saying? Everything cool. May not even be on no negative terms. Y'all moving, but maybe they said something. Maybe they gave it off of an indicator. Maybe they gave a, a, a behavior trait or a character trait that lets you know that it wasn't going to be that. And it works both ways because, you know, whatever reason, however, you know, Every cause has an equal and opposite reaction and effect. So, you know, you knew you knew already. So trust your intuition sometimes. It may not, you may not want to listen to it because you're going through whatever emotional situation you're going through or whatever attachment. Oh, I've been working hard for this car. But you knew you knew already. Don't go get that Benz. Go ahead and get that Nissan. Don't go get that Act. Go ahead and get that Honda. You know what I'm saying? Why you even bother dating that nigga if you knew you was going to waste his time? Why you even apply for this job when you knew you ain't like what the requirement said? You know what I'm saying? All that. Why buy the house if you never liked it or plan to fix it up or know, know nothing of that? You knew, you knew, you knew already. So when these outcomes come, when it's this fatic, dissatisfaction, <laughs> blunder, <laughs> when a dissatisfaction happens, this fat, what is the word I'm trying to say? Dissatisfaction. There we go. I'm going to keep that on there too. I ain't even going to edit that. But when a dissatisfaction happens, when a disappointment occurs, you knew you knew already. You know what I mean? Depending on, some of us are more vocal than others. Some of us can compartmentalize better than others. And some of us choose to hide it. But you knew you knew already. You know what I'm saying? So, all in all, give yourself some grace when you process and take time to apologize to yourself for placing yourself in that situation for whatever reason. Or for not paying attention when you should have been paying attention for whatever reason. Right. Whatever reason, whatever situation, give yourself some grace. Take some time to apologize to yourself. My bad, me. <laughs> you, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? We don't do enough of that. You know what I'm saying? We rather beat ourselves up or place blame or deflect or any of that. Just 
take the time to acknowledge that you should have been apologetic to yourself and avoided that situation, that circumstance, that outcome in the first place. You know, smarter, not harder. If you know better, you do better. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes God will put the indicators right there in front of your face and we choose not to listen. Sometimes you got to listen, even if it's the decision that you don't want to make, even if it's the harder choice, even if it's the longer path, even if it hurts. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself some grace. Drop some likes, some fire emojis in my shit if you can relate. You know what I'm saying? Give yourself grace. Don't beat yourself up over it. But acknowledge that you knew, that you knew, that you knew. And you should have did better.